All right, Shalom, Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His own begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and her rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, <coughs> pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, back with another lesson through the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shimmy out with Okay, the title of this lesson is Don't Get Comfortable in America, man. <clears throat> and that's the problem with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. Okay, whether you want to believe it or not. You're too comfortable here in America, man. And the Bible proves and has scriptures on why our people do not need to be comfortable in America. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures and I'm going to grab my first precept. And I'm going to go to, let's see here. Let's go to Micah first. This is the book of Micah chapter 2 verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, <clears throat> for this is not your rest. Okay. And Micah is telling the children of Israel through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, arise and depart mentally, okay, and spiritually, okay, for this is not your rest. What place is this talking about? Here in America, man. <clears throat> Mainly here in America or whatever the Israelites are scattered at, man. You could be scattered in London. You can be scattered in uh, Alaska, okay, Hawaii, Africa. Okay, China. Okay, because we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth for uh, going against uh, the law, statute, commandments that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh gave to the children of Israel. Okay, it says, um, Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. That's right. And, and all throughout the four corners of the earth, mainly here in America, okay, it's polluted, man. With the philosophies and doctrines that Esau, Esau pushes, the red Hebrew Edomite, okay? He pushes his democracy, okay? The woman equal with the man, the woman over the man, okay? Sodomites uh, uh, getting rights, okay? Telling our kids it's okay for uh, uh, little Tommy to be a girl, okay? It's okay for a little girl to be a boy. That's nonsense, man. Okay, it pollutes the minds of our people. You know, this Christianity, plantation Christianity has destroyed the minds of our people for for years, man. You know, thinking that the God of the Bible is a so-called white man when he's not. He's a so-called black man according to the scriptures. Okay. This place has polluted the air with the chemtrails, the food, the plastic rice, the plastic fish. Okay, the the uh, 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 the poisonous foods that we eat. Okay, the idol worship that goes on here, Buddha, Allah. Okay, just to name a few, it will destroy you, man. Okay, as the scripture says, Micah two and ten. It's, it reads on. It says it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. So that's why the title's lesson is don't get comfortable in America, man. Because you getting comfortable in America is going to send you down a, 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 um, a path of destruction, man. Okay? Because the way America runs is not the way that the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh runs, man. And as Hebrew Israelites, we're supposed to live our life a certain way. Going back to Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 13, uh, 13, I believe. Matter of fact, let me just get it real quick. I don't want to um, screw it up. Yeah, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. And this is for you Israelites. This is what we're supposed to be doing, man. Not get comfortable in America. Because America and where we were scattered at was a prison sentence, kind of, man. Okay? From the Heavenly Father. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That's right. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of the Israelite man. For this is the whole duty of man, man. The Israelite man. The fear the most high keeps commandments. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Not getting comfortable in America. 
Okay? So I'm going to grab another precept. And these videos we do only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Because we all know, according to the scriptures, two-thirds is not going to hearken to this, to these uh, scriptures, man. And that's fine. You know? This is 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. It says, Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Come out from these idols, okay, these false philosophies and doctrines that Esau is pushing, that these other nations push, okay? The Hindu goddess Shiva, yoga, okay? You are all... Bowing down to other gods when you be partakers in that, man. And the Heavenly Father is not with that. But that's things that you have learned over here in America, man. This is 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. <coughs> that's right. Be holy, man. Saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Don't touch these idols, man. Don't touch these false religions and gods. Okay And the most high Will what? He will receive you man Going back to Micah 2 and 10 Okay this is not our rest This place is polluted man Alright Verse 18 it says And I will be a father unto you And ye shall be my sons and daughters saith the Lord Almighty So let's come back man The elect nation of Israel Let's come back to your how about Shimei Al-Shai man While we still have time man Okay Put off the, the Baptist church. Put off the Roman uh, uh, Catholic church, man. Okay? Because the Lord's not dwelling in them churches according to Acts 7 and 48. Okay? Acts, uh, what, 17 and 24 as, as, as well as other scriptures. Okay? Let's come back to the Lord, man. So we can be delivered and get saved out of this hellhole called America, man. Grab another precept. This is Hebrews 13 and 14. It says, Yep. This is Hebrews 13 and 14 says, For here we have no continuing city. That's right, man. What is that talking about? Mainly here in America. We have no we have no continuing city here, man. First fire, last hired. We're still up on the captivity. Okay, according to the book of Baruch, the third chapter. Okay, behold, this day we are yet in our captivity. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay. So we have no continuing city here. We have to go to our enemy for the want of all things, man. Start off with the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, the red Hebrew Edomite, man. Okay. This is Hebrews 13 and 14. It says, for here... Have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And that's right. And that's the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. The elect of the nation of Israel is seeking for one to come, man. They're seeking for the kingdom of heaven. <coughs> okay. And that's what we're doing, man. So I would have had apostles and elders, a great millstone, the brothers on down. And look, man, we're seeking for Yahweh Shah's kingdom, man. Okay. Where we, where uh, uh, righteousness dwells, man. This is Hebrews 13 and 14. For here we it's like it, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. There's no future for the Israelites here in America, man, but death. You know? Any day you can walk uh, wake up, get shot down. Okay, you can lose your job, lose everything. Okay. You can have kid, your kids taken away from you. Okay, you don't own anything. So why get comfortable here, man? Why get comfortable? I'm going to another precept. I don't know if it's going to be my last one or what, but... Let's see what the Spirit says. I'm going to the book of Sirach. 36. This is the book of Sirach, 36. And um and 13 it says, Oh be merciful, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. Okay, it says Ecclesiastes 30 it's like it's Sirach 36 and 13. Oh be merciful unto Jerusalem. 
which is a people before it's a place. Okay, talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. He Israelites. Thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Okay. So technically, Jerusalem, okay, is the homeland. Israel is the homeland for you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. And once the Lord destroyed those gutter rats out of it, man, that's going to be the holy, the holy city, man. That's going to be the headquarters, okay? Once the Lord placed us back in that land, look, then we'll be able to rest, man. But until then, this is not our rest, man. Do not get comfortable here in America, man. Or wherever the Israelites are scattered, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth. Come out of those philosophies and doctrines that's been polluting your mind, man. That's been destroying you. Come back to your how about Shimei I was shy. Once again, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, a so-called black man, according to the scriptures, man. I'm going to read it again. This is Sirach 36 and 13. O be merciful unto, the, unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, that separate city. Okay? It says the place of thy rest. So going back to Micah 2 and 10, you know, America and whatever Israel is scattered is not our rest. But once the Lord puts us back into the land of Jerusalem, the land of Israel, that is our rest, man. That's when we can let our hair down, get comfortable, okay? Let our kids roam free, all right? Not looking over our shoulders. So with that, Lord Williams edifying, man, through the spirit and power, you how about you, shy. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another shalom to all the sincere Akiyams throughout the four corners of the earth pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.